What's going on YouTube? It's B Hackett here, and this is the middle linebacker collection complete. Uh, this one was a tough one. I had to do a ton of trading to get all of the uh, fantasy cards for this. I think it's 17 or 18. I forget the exact number, but it is a blank ton of fantasy cards. I had uh, seven or eight waiting before this collection in preparation, and I had no idea that there were this many middle linebackers. Uh, I thought I was in pretty good shape by preparing in advance. I, I didn't really do as much research as I should have and could have been better prepared like I have been in previous collections, but what can you do? Uh, other than the fantasy ones, the uh, ghost ones are in there, Vilma and Erlacher. Those shouldn't run you more than uh, probably five to 700,000 coins. And Ray Nitschke's up there in price, but he is uh, pretty obtainable. If you have other rare ghosts or something like that, people will probably uh, trade with you. And there is several on the trade block as well. The bronzes and silvers weren't too difficult. There were several on the auction block. I know in some collections it seems like you're ripping uh, silver packs forever. I remember in the uh, strong safety one, the first big position collection one, I felt like I was ripping silver packs all weekend. Got this one done in one night, so pretty impressed that I got it done with uh, acquiring all those fantasy cards. I actually got a couple on the trade block. I know I've dogged the trade block feature in this game a lot in the past. And uh, I had an extra Tulloch, one of the rare ones, and I was in need of that 97 Fletcher that everybody's been looking for. And I just threw it up on the trade block, and within about 15 minutes, somebody offered it. So there's the reward cards, Ray, Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. Uh, it's nice to see a nice uh, Ray Lewis card. He's been a beastly player for a long time, but um, he is not nearly as good stat-wise as is Patrick Willis. Not saying that that's a bad card. I run a ton of two middle linebacker setups, so they're both out there, no problems. But that Willis card is absolutely insane. And I'm going to go into lineup and throw them in lineup here for you guys to show you why it's insane. The uh, front of the card there... Is uh, pretty sweet the picture and the back shows some great stats but the real stats are deep in the stats where it shows the jumping and the man coverage zone coverage things of that nature I cannot believe they did this for a, uh, a middle linebacker of all positions I don't know of any linebacker in the history of the NFL that should deserve these kind of stats uh, they might have went a little overboard on these coverage stats to say the least but I don't mind because I have him on my team, but I know I'll start getting mad when I have to play against him. But the top two rows will be your new reward guys. The uh, third is just a Ghost Vilma, and the fourth is that Hero Willis if you want to scan through and see these. 96 speed is pretty huge. Uh, 99 strength, 100 strength is pretty popular. 97 acceleration. Awareness is good. Don't really care about the... Uh, running back stats or special move or juke move catch isn't that great in the 50s there jump is 80 for willis that's pretty darn good right, when we get to these stats here 100 tackling for both awesome hit power your moves are 100 block shedding i don't know why ray lewis is that low but he is 90 man coverage and 100 zone coverage for patrick willis that's just nuts. And 7070 for Ray Lewis. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, God bless, and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. I'm off to the Bahamas. Thanks.